How old did you... Remember, if they see your face, you die. Hello YouTube, my name is Will, and in this video, I made Squid Game. So, in case you've been living under a rock for the past month, Squid Game is a Netflix show where 456 Korean people play kids games to win a lot of money. But if they lose, they die. So it's basically a long Mr. Beast video where when you lose, you die instead of winning $1,000. The first game in Squid Game is Red Light, Green Light. So I opened up a Unity project and began. If you haven't watched the show, Red Light, Green Light is exactly what it sounds like. When you hear Red Light, you stop, and when you hear Green Light, you go. And if you make it to the end, you win, but if you don't, you die. In the show, there's this weird baby doll saying Red Light, Green Light, but in my game, there's, uh, this. Yeah. Well, anyways, this is what the game looks like. Game number two is called Honeycomb. And in Honeycomb, you basically try to cut out a specific shape from a cookie without breaking the cookie. So, that's gonna be easy to make, is what I thought when I was making the sprites, but I could not be more wrong. I spent way too long trying to find a method that would actually work, and then way more time trying to actually make that method work. So the game basically takes a screenshot at the beginning and compares the pixel's color that your mouse is on to the correct color. And if it isn't, you die. The third game is Tug of War. And, well, you probably already know what this one is. In my game, there's a bar at the bottom of the screen with red, yellow, and green areas. A little black line goes from right to left, and the player has to time it correctly and hit the space bar when the black line is over the green area. After 20 rounds, you get to my favorite part, the high budget death cinematic set piece. If you're wondering why there's no rope, it's because, well, in my squid game, the players have superpowers, so they just pull each other with their minds. It's definitely not because I don't know how to make rope physics. Game number four is marbles. And in marbles, you have 10 marbles, and you have to try to get your opponent's marbles non-violently. Many did this through a game called Odds or Evens. In my squid game, you don't have a choice. You're playing Odds or Evens, whether you like it or not. You play by each putting some marbles in your hands. If your opponent guesses you have odd and you have odd, or even and you have even, he takes from you what is in his hand. But if he guesses even and you have odd, or odd and you have even, you take from him what is in your hand. Make sense? I didn't think so. The fifth game is a game called Glass Stepping Stones. And I really hope this isn't a kid's game in Korea. It involves 18 sets of two glass platforms where one glass platform can hold the weight of a person and the other can't. If the player steps on the platform that cannot support his weight, he falls and he dies. All things considered, this was really easy to make. The only thing I needed to code is a script that randomly chooses which glass blocks would be real and which glass blocks would be fake. The sixth game is called Squid Game and it's played in a squid shaped arena like this one. Honestly, I don't see it. So the goal of the game is to get from here to here, or push all of your opponents outside the arena, or just kill them. And uh, yeah, I uh, can confirm this game is pretty easy. And when you win Squid Game, you win Squid Game. Now we're basically done, except for one tiny detail you may have noticed. In Squid Game, there are 456 players. In my Squid Game, there's one. So let's change that. To do this, I need to program artificial intelligences, or AIs for short. Now, when most people think of AIs, they think of sci-fi sentient computers that are programmed by themselves to kill humans. And that's not what I'm making, at least not today. Instead, I'm just coding simple instructions for each player to follow. For example, the AI in red light, green light is pretty easy. All it does is see if the light is red and stop, or see if the light is green and go, unless it gets unlucky and it will move on a red light and die. Thankfully, Honeycomb, Tug of War, and Marbles 
don't need any AIs. So the only remaining AIs that I need to program are Glass Stepping Stones and Squid Game. So the Glass Stepping Stones AI shouldn't be that bad. All I need is to have each player know what place they're in, know what position they need to move to, know when they need to move positions, know how to avoid the player, know when to update other players on the right path, and die properly. So that shouldn't be too bad, I thought. Four days of whacking my head against my desk proved otherwise, but overall, I was happy with the result. After coding the AIs for Glass Stepping Stones, the Squid Game AI was a breeze. The only thing I needed the players doing was punching each other and properly dying. Now once all the AIs were done, I started work on the final part of this process, touching up. By touching up, I basically mean making the game look like it wasn't made by a five-year-old. So I instead made it look like it was made by a six-year-old. And now, I'm actually done. So, I'm basically a pro at this game, and I don't think I've died once. Ugh. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god. Ugh, oh, so close again. Of course I got Umbrella. Star. It's harder than Umbrella. Oh, Tug of War so easy. Come on, even. No! Alright, well, you got this, you got this. No! Okay, okay, maybe I've died a couple times. But that never slowed me down. And spoiler alert, I eventually won Squid Game.
So that was Squid Game. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. It's free, fast, and it will tell the YouTube algorithm that my content is worthy. And one more thing before you go. So there's this YouTuber named Danny who has a few more subscribers than me. And he made a video a couple hours before I finished writing the script about the exact same thing. So I just wanted to let everybody know that I didn't intend on copying him. I just didn't want two weeks of hard work to be scrapped. So if enough people want me to, I'll try touching up the game for real and releasing it, depending on legal stuff. I'm not trying to be sued by Netflix. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.